Hello my beautiful Geminis, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and if you're new to the channel, welcome, we're so glad you stopped by. And for those subscribers, thank you. Here and now, focusing on the present is the overall energy at this time in love, here and now, not worrying about the past, not worrying about the future, living in the moment. We do have for our beautiful Geminis a full solar eclipse on the 10th. So I'm wishing you, you know, set your intentions, make them worthy of what you would like to have. This is the last solar eclipse in Gemini, the last of the eclipses for nine more years. Between worlds, okay, so you're very focused on the present, you're focused on a lot of change, there's a lot that's changing around us as the world opens up again. I feel as though you're going to have many new opportunities in love if you're looking. If not, it does look like you have a chance to advance a current relationship. Now, let's see what else. We have one more energy card. Look at that. Higher power. Gorgeous energy. Higher power really staying focused spiritually and not worrying so much about the mundane aspects of relationship. Just really focused on the greater good of your life as well as that of a potential partner. So let's see what the energy is. Let's look at their thoughts about you. What are they thinking about you at this time? Well, they're very curious about you. Look at this energy. We have the page of wands with a big magnifying glass. They are checking you out, Gemini, whether it's on social media, whether it's in person, they notice everything that you do. They know the way you part your hair. They look at your different glasses. They look at the way you dress. This person is curious. Do you remember Curious George? He was a little monkey <laughs> that they did a lot of child's books about many years ago. Curious George. This is a curious person wanting to find out everything they can find about you. The Ace of Swords, they have great clarity. They really like what they see. This person is really a person who, if you look at the snail sort of hat headpiece, that is a person who really likes stability. They like things that are organic, but they have great clarity, great precision in terms of how they know themselves. They really do understand that they are have great clarity. They have the key to their heart right here in their hand. So they know what it takes. They have self-understanding. Okay. So let's see what else we have for the way they think about you. Ooh, look at this, the Two of Swords. Even when they pretend not to be checking you out, they're looking underneath the hat. So the Two of Swords says that they're not really ready to speak up yet, but your person is very curious, and I like the birds on top. The birds on top are showing us that this person is very much in tune with nature. You might be dealing with an earth sign. But the Two of Swords is not making any decisions. It's all about waiting to get all the information you need. So what else do they think about Gemini? So they find you really interesting. They're very curious. They think you're, you're unique. unique. <laughs> it is Gemini uh, retrograde, right? Mercury retrograde. Okay. So what else do they think about you? They think that you're a very loving, beautiful person. They feel as though you're a person with whom they could have a very beautiful relationship, a love affair, and they feel as though they could love you deeply. They think that you're a person who loves very deeply, that you're very soft, that you're very beautiful, that you're very nurturing in the way you love people and show affection. The Five of Coins says that right now it doesn't seem as though the two of you are conversing. You may have left them in the cold because this is a card that says that their heart is locked away. Now another way to interpret this for you is that this person may not be uh, ready for a relationship. The five of coins can be recovery from an, a relationship or a breakup. But in terms of you, they don't feel as though they're close enough to you. They would really like to come closer and they feel a little bit lonely or they're a little uncomfortable about how they approach this. When you look at the card, it is a flower that's in a cage. So this person has their heart locked away and they are seeking love. They don't have love in their life. And that is something that they want. When we look at the, the windows here, these are the windows to their heart, and they want to open those windows up, possibly with you. 
the King of Wands. We have the Leo King here. So now we have Sagittarius, air sign energy. Uh, we have Libra energy. We have Cancer energy. We have Taurus energy, and now we have Leo energy. So we have a good mix of energy here. The Leo King is all about beating the drum, moving ahead. This is a person who's going to pursue you. If they want you, they have fire. They have fire in their heart. They have fire in their energy. They're beating the drum, moving towards you at this time. So let's see what else they are thinking in terms of this connection. Very passionate, that Leo energy, fiery, fiery, very good for air signs. Fire and air have a natural affinity for each other. The Knight of Pentacles. They're also very grounded. This is Virgo energy. So what's hidden here is that they're moving very slowly, but they are moving towards you, okay? Let's see what else they are thinking about this connection. What else do we have here? We have the Six of Swords. This person wants to leave any difficulties that the two of you have had behind. They want to leave their own personal sorrows and difficulties. They don't want to drag anything from the past into this relationship with you, Gemini. So really good energy. It's Aquarius. It's enlightened. It's a very beautiful energy, this person, really. They feel lonely or they feel left out. So I don't know whether you've talked to them recently. It looks like you might not be in communication. The Four of Pentacles, they are holding on. So if you're not giving them a lot of attention right now, which is fine, I don't think you are, but they are holding on and they're waiting for an opportunity to move towards you. All right. So now let's look and see what their feelings are about you, okay? What are this person's feelings about our Geminis? What does this person feel about you other than curious? Oh, they think you're sexy. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So they think that you're a match set. They feel as though this is a worthy relationship, worthy of pursuit. So I like the energy. We have the, now the Queen and King of Wands are on the table. But in their heart space, they feel passionate. They feel like, come on, let me take you out, Gemini. Let's go do something. I can really boss up here. I can take you someplace fun. We can chat all night long. I'm fascinated by you. I'm curious about you. Okay, what is the why is the Ace of Swords here? The King of Cups. This person has man, this is a person who really knows how to modulate their emotions. This is a person who's very steady. Even if there's something churning in their belly, they have managed to learn to be very calm on the surface. This is a very balanced person. It is Scorpio energy. And the Scorpio energy is managing the feelings of feeling a little bit like you're not paying attention to them. So this person's trying to make it look good. Let me put this over here. They're really trying to be very calm, cool, and collected. And they are. They're succeeding. You would not know that they're feeling a little bit lonely without you. Um, but that's what we have for the way that they are, are seeing the relationship in the two of you. Why is the Ace of Swords here for our beautiful Geminis in terms of how this person feels? This person, you have the key to their heart, or they have the key to theirs or yours the Emperor card. So this person is absolutely sure that you have the key to their heart. The Emperor card is always a person who is um, very much wants success. The Emperor is all about success. Something that doesn't add up, something that doesn't make sense, something that can't bring success is not something that this person desires. This is all about success, it's all about succeeding, and it's all about culminating and manifesting what they want with you. It's Aries energy. Again, more fire sign energy. So why is the Two of Swords here? Why isn't this person telling you how they feel? In their thought process, they're like, I'm going to keep this to myself right now because I have a mad crush on Gemini. In fact, I kind of am in love with Gemini with the Queen of Cups. But it does really speak to the fact that this person is not opening up at this time. 
The Magician card, look at this, they are manifesting you. So while they're quietly sitting and appearing to do nothing, they are manifesting you, Gemini. So when we get the card of the Magician, we have Gemini energy, Virgo energy. You might be dealing with a Virgo or another Gemini. But it, oops, wrong card. So we have the Magician card. This person very much wants to open their heart to you, but they'll do it when the time is right. So great energy. Okay. Let's see what they really feel this Queen of Cups. They see you as very loving and they want some of that love, Gemini. That Queen of Cups is a card of great dedication. It's a card of naturally nurturing someone, nurturing a connection, and the Ace of Wands. Ooh, the Ace of Wands, lots of passion. So they have fire in their belly for you. They have fire to start this relationship with you, advance the relationship so that they can enjoy the lovely person that they see in front of them, which is a very loving person. So... That was a little redundant, but okay. <laughs> but they have fire in their belly. Ace of Wands, beautiful. All right, so let's see why we have the King of Wands here. In terms of how they feel about you, why is the King of Wands here for our beautiful Geminis? Let's see what the King of Wands is doing. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so the first thing the King of Wands is going to do is invite you out on a very simple date. Uh, the Page of uh, Pentacles is coming in here like, let's go for coffee. What do you think? You want to play, um, you know, basketball <laughs> on the public court? It's a very small offer, but it's a very significant offer. It's Virgo energy. It's very conscientious, only offering a pentacle to see what your response is. So they definitely want to know if you are attracted to them without really revealing very much is what I'm seeing. So let's see, what do we have here for this Knight of Pentacles? What's the hidden energy here in this reading is that they're moving towards you slowly, okay? But it is clarified by the Empress card. They feel as though you're the one. The Emperor card, now we have two divine sets. We have the Emperor and the Empress, and we have the King and Queen of Wands. So this person feels that you could be the one, and they are moving slowly. They don't want to be, you know, they don't want to get themselves uh, too worked up until they see if you have, you're going to reciprocate some feelings towards them, if you're going to sort of bring them out of the cold, which is what, how they're feeling anyway. They feel as though you're not really giving them a lot of attention. And if they don't get attention from you at some point, if they feel that you're really not interested, they will move forward. You know, they'll just say, okay, good enough. You know, they, this person's in it to win it. This is not a person who wants just to fling. They want the real thing. So I guess that is the name of the video. Is this a fling or the real thing? They want the real thing with you, Gemini, is what I'm getting. Why is the Six of Swords here for the way they feel? Why is the Six of Swords here? Yep, the King of Swords. So this is strategist. When we look at the King of Swords energy, this is a person who's very logical, who says basically, you know, essentially, if I can't have a really good relationship with somebody who reciprocates, I'm taking the bird's eye view. I'm going to take a bigger look at the picture. And that's what we're seeing here. They're calm, cool, and collected and kind of hiding the fact that they're watching your actions like a hawk or like a bird, whatever, from a higher perspective. And so what we're seeing here is somebody who wants success. And if they can't have success, they'll move along. This is not a person who's going to, you know, do anything weird or stalk you or, you know, they just really want to know if the two of you can be successful together. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why are they holding on? Okay. Ooh, okay. So... For many of you, you are definitely holding back from this person, okay? So this person is holding on to you because they think that you have gone through a very, very painful transition. Now, if you had a breakup with this person, this person wants to come back in and they want to rebuild. For those of you who did not have a breakup with this person, 
they want you to heal. If you had a breakup with someone else, they really want you to heal. And all of these flowers represent their willingness to wait for you, to work on the relationship, to help your love life bloom again with them. But we really see this energy that right now they're not going to go overboard. They're going to wait to see how they think that you feel about them. So they're very much in a wait, see mo uh, wait and see mode. They very much are self-imposed restriction unless you so show something that gives them the idea that you want them as much as they want you. All right. So now we're going to look and see what they like best. Whoops, a daisy. We're going to see what they like best about you. We see the full card. They think that you're sweet. They think that you're innocent. This person finds you charming because if you look at the tail, it's like the tail of an alligator, right? That the fool card, the fool is up at the top looking at the beautiful flower. They see you as a person who is bright, but willing to keep that innocence of childhood about you. That you're trusting, that you're not looking for the worst, that you really are a person who trusts what they see, that they see you as a person who's willing to take a risk, but they also see you as charmingly innocent, okay? And they like that about you. Look at what else they see. They are seeing you as, oops, I got the wrong card here. Okay, I got it. Got to shuffle a little bit more. Okay, so now why is the Emperor card here? What is it that makes them want you so much? Gemini, what is it about you that makes them so sort of hell-bent? You know, hell-bent on um, really having you in their life. This person sticking around, the hanged man. The fact that you've been playing it cool. The fact that you're not rushing in. You're not a person who is you know, looking for someone to fix their problems. You're just at a point in your life where you're hanging out, you're enjoying your life, you're enjoying different viewpoints. They see you as a flexible person. They see you as someone who is beautifully dressed. When we look at this hanged man, hanged woman, we see somebody who's dressed exquisitely and very content with their life, hanging out, living in the moment, which was kind of the theme, right? Right? This was here and now, right? So that's really important to them. They also see with the death card, whoever went through this breakup, when we see this, we also see the transition. So this is, <laughs> it's hard to do this. Uh, this is a card that shows that they do, this is a regeneration. And so they are holding back until you show some sign that you're really ready to move forward. So they're really watching you very carefully. It's really quite beautiful energy. And um, very sensitive. This person looks like they're very sensitive, but they're fiery. They, they want a win with you, and they're being very strategic here with you. So let's see what we have. What is it that they like so much about the slow approach that they're taking with the Empress card. Now remember the Empress is Venus, the planet Venus, and she doesn't do anything. She waits for someone to come forward to her. But it is manifestation, and you have the Emperor and the Empress here. So what is it that they like about that energy with you? What is it that they find so compelling? The Three of Wands, they see, the, they see you as your future, as you, their future, blah. <gasps> Mercury retrograde. But that's what they see. They see you as larger than life. They see you as having, being a person who's very comfortable in their own skin. They see you as a person who's magnificent, who has big plans, who's not willing to dim themselves down. They see you as absolutely, their ships have arrived in the harbor. They are just wondering if you are going to allow them in. All right. Let's see what the energy is here. What is it that this person feels is there a message from the divine about you what is it that they like about you spiritually the five of wands you're really in this energy that just says i have my wits about me 
I am willing, this is you, Gemini, that, you know, you're willing to sort of play chess, that you're waiting for someone to step up and forgive you a, the gift of a nice presentation and that you have many options. The Empress always does, right? The Emperor does and the Empress does. But they see you as a person who's playing it cool. You're going to get to know them. You're not going to be rash. You're going to be very centered, very focused on what's healthy, what's spiritual, what meets their criteria, or, you know, what meets your criteria, and that you're not going to settle for something less. And they hold you in great regard because of it. The Ten of Wands reverse says that they have fire in their belly for you, that they are just waiting for the chance to approach you. You know, it shows that this person, when it's upright, it shows that they feel really exhausted, but reversed, ooh, they could carry that that big bouquet of flowers around forever and wait for your response. They're very much engaged with the idea that they have plenty of time. They can buy their time in your relationship. The King of Wands also is your outcome card. This is a feminine King of Wands. So the feminine King of Wands is somebody who's very forthright still, the Wands energy, right? But all of this passion, but being, being very... Um, assertive with you, but not pushy, being very thoughtful about what it is that you would like to do, how to woo you, how to approach you. So this person is giving this a lot of thought. They're very, very much in charge of their actions, their emotions, and what they're doing with you. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look and see what their, what their, actions are in the near future okay thoughts feelings actions we've seen their intentions they've been wrapped up the intentions have spoken throughout the reading so i'm not going to cover those separately the justice card oh that can be a marriage license that can be buying a home together that is finding balance it's libra energy it rules the seventh house this person truly feels as though you could be their person you could be the person with whom they would settle down so when we look at the energy of their actions they're going to take actions that they think will lead to the ability to ask you to marry them or make a commitment with them because the seventh house of Libra is the, um, it's not just romance, it's about marriage and responsibilities, like having a legal partnership, okay? So for any of you who are not looking at romance but you want partnership, this person could be a partner for you. Now, the fact that you're the hanged woman right now is confusing to them because they think that they've made enough overtures towards you that if they do not think that you're going to respond or that if you don't like them, that, you know, they're not going to howl at the moon. They will turn and walk away, which is rational, right? That's what emperors do. They size up this situation and they see what the potential is. But they are waiting for a response from you. They're very unclear about what you want. That is Pisces energy. I do think we have all the signs out here today. So let's see what else this person is planning to act upon. Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a solid offer. It's a big offer. Oftentimes the Ace of Pentacles is represented in a reading as uh, the engagement ring. It's a significant offer of magnitude. This is a, this is the big offer. This is not the page of pentacles. This is very much someone who wants to present you with an idea um, and, and they want your response. They want to know if that is something you would even consider. Okay. The King of Cups. Look at this King of Cups. See the ship going through underneath? This is a feminine King of Cups. So they are making themselves available to you, and they want to know if you're going to take the chance and pass through the bridge that they've created. So they're building a bridge to you. They're extending this to you. Again, they want something substantial. So they are making a path and they're going to see if you're going to take their offer. The Seven of Cups. They have a lot of options. You have a lot of options. It's well known that both of you are highly desirable. 
we see the Nine of Pentacles. They want to give you reason not to be the single lady. So they see you as glorious. They love your hair. They love your home. They love the way you decorate. You smell good. You look good. Everything about you is very attractive to them. But they want to know if you're choosing someone else or you're going to choose them. Okay, what else do we have for this reading? Gemini, this is like quite a reading here for you. Two of Wands, they will make a decision. They will do that, I would say, within the next two months. So if you've met this person on a dating site, it's going to be important to go ahead and meet them. And I would really say that's always a good idea because the sooner you meet somebody, the sooner you get to know more about them. Because if we look at communication, hello, Gemini, you're a communicator. 98% of all communication is nonverbal. So it's going to be very important. This person wants to know that you're going to take action. They don't want to languish in this energy. They will make a decision within a reasonable period of time, I would say within a six week period of time of whether they will continue to pursue you or ask you out. And we have the Six of Cups. They see you as a potential soulmate, somebody with whom they could grow old with, somebody you may have known for a long time. And Temperance card, they're willing to do whatever they need to do to balance things out for the relationship. So let's take a look at the um, messages of love are here for you, Gemini, at this time. Let's see what we have. A decision. It's time to make a decision about this relationship. There we go. So that really is very clear to me, and um, I want to thank you. Take care. See you soon. Thanks, Gemini. Bye-bye.